Can you think of any examples off the top of your head of, uh, you know, a project or a conversation that you saw students working on that you were just like, whoa, you know, like how you're, you know, you're so young and you're having this like really thoughtful approach to this big thing. Yeah, um, I would say probably with creating the games um, on CodeSpark because um, I've seen students, they've added in all these different characters and it's basically kind of laid out almost like a, um, like a Super Mario type thing, like a runner type game. And they add in all these different little sections. It's like, yeah, and I'm going to have uh, this character come up uh, here. And then this is the bad guy. And they have this whole little built-in story that they have created with this game. So I want to give them that space to do the technology and the creative, merge it together. Let's see what you can come up with. And that connects so well with, you know, the skills, the 21st century skills that we want students to have, you know, we want them to be collaborative. We want them to be creative. We want them to be critical thinkers using technology to solve problems. Like it's, that's really hitting on like all of those things. That is so neat. And I'm glad you brought up the collaboration piece too, because I do um, tell my students, like you can ask your neighbor next to you, like, how did you solve that? Or, you know, how did you get to that level? I mean, that's not against the rules. I'm not the, you know, the end all be all of, of, of coding and technology. You guys can help each other out. And to see them do that is awesome. And I tell them, I was like, that's what you do in the real world. You're not just, you know, working in a bubble. You're talking with other people saying, okay, how did you do that? We have to work on this part together. So I really, really try and encourage that and keep that going while they're um, doing the coding.